Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Brickenstein here, aka Ken Turner. So I made a trip to Toronto for Fan Expo Canada, where I was uh, tabling in Artist Alley. But while I was there, I made a trip to two LEGO stores. I tried to do them in one day. So the first one I went to was the Sherway Gardens location. I haven't been to this uh, mall very much, but it looks like they've been going through a bunch of renovations. So we'll take a tour of the mall and then eventually uh, head to the LEGO store. So let's go in and uh, check things out. It's definitely uh, one of the bigger malls in uh, the GTA. So this is a shot of the food court and the, this little bridge that takes you over there. And there was also an Indigo that I was able to uh, check out. They did have a really nice uh, Lego section. So here are some of the classic sets. And here's a bunch of the Ninjago. Usually you don't find Indigo stores this well stocked with the uh, Lego. And here we have the Sonic the Hedgehog. And then below we have the Crater 3-in-1s. So there's the Pink Parrot and the Majestic Tiger. And down below is the Medieval Castle. And if we swing around here on the other side, we have a bunch of the Technic sets. And then if we swing around on the opposite side, they have the Mario sets. And right below that is the Minecraft, so there's the Red Burn. And then for Mario sets, they had a whole bunch. They had Peach's Castle, and then those starter packs. They also had the Big Urchin Beach Ride. And then right beside that, they had some of the Star Wars sets. And above them were the Harry Potter sets. Right beside them were the Marvel sets. So there's a bunch of the Batman theme. There's the Batmobile. Spidey and his amazing friends. Some of the buildable figures. Endgame Final Battle. There was Groot and Venomized Groot. On this side they had the Dream sets. So this one they were featuring of course. And right below they had the shark ship. And there's some of the Duplo. Above them were some of the Disney sets. Gabby's Dollhouse, Friends. And then we get into the city sets. So they had stunts right there. And then back to the opposite side of this Dreams display. There's the turtle van. And they also had a proper uh, dreams display out with the shark ship and the village, the tree house. It's really nice to see up close. Really impressive little uh, display. There's the crocodile car. Here's some other views of the mall. It looks like a circus tent. And here we're heading to the Lego store. And just outside they had a Dreams display of course, and there was the Shark Ship. Really nice set. I still have to build. There's the Treehouse. I have gone through a bunch of these episodes. I still have to finish the season, but I am enjoying it. Now on the other side of the outside displays, they had this uh, construction worker. And then they had the Fortress. The Eldorado Fortress, the Disney Castle, really impressive to see up close. There was the Pac-Man set, and then below that was the Batcave, of course. And then just beside the Pac-Man Arcade was the Corvette that just came out. And then inside they had some dreams display. So there's the turtle van and a bunch of other ones as well. Now on the right side, they had the tranquil garden. And then below that we had the NASA space shuttle discovery. 
There's Rivendell, Defender, Fortress, Pac-Man, the Atari set, Bowser. There's the NES. There's the A-Frame Cabin. Right below that was the Disney Castle, along with Optimus Prime. Here's a closer look at the Lion's Knight Castle, the Eldorado Fortress. Another display they had was the Hocus Pocus Cottage. And then they had the big size minifig, the bonsai tree, a couple of the botanical sets. There's the office right above that. In this display they had the tall neck and the lighthouse. Now living on the east coast, I really want to get this lighthouse eventually. There's the Himiji castle. There's the Minecraft sets. There's the panda. Right beside that they had the peach starter course. There's some of the base plates, some of the Sonic sets, more Minecraft, there's Super Mario. There's the new Donkey Kong set with Cranky Kong. Now these are Canadian prices, so $79.99 is a bit pricey for that set, I believe. So I'll probably wait for a deal to get that one. There's some of the mech suits for Boba Fett and Darth Vader. And then they had some of the battle packs and Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. There's the Cantina, X-Wing. There's the UCS Millennium Falcon, along with the Yavin Rebel Base. Here's the Bat Cycle. Here's a bunch of the Technic sets. And some of the Monster Truck ones. Here's the Nissan Skyline from Fast and Furious for the Speed Champions line. There's Fast and Furious, Dom's Charger. And the Aston Martin 2-pack. So there's the Pab Wall. Looks well stocked. They had some of those wagon wheels, of course the pink hearts, some of the 1x2 modified bricks in yellow, some of the satellite dishes in white, transclare windows, some leaves, tires, steering wheels, and some of the windshields and seats. So here's some of the Jurassic Park sets. So here's the one with Nedri and the Dilophosaurus. Here's the one with the Triceratops and the big pile of poop. Right below that they had the Indiana Jones sets. And beside that they had the Harry Potter theme sets. There's Hogwarts Express. And then on display they had the Dobby set. They even had one of their own uh, mocks up, so they had uh, this, uh, I guess, hedgehog, which was really nice to see. They had some of the banner sets, the Quidditch pitch, the exotic pink parrot. So here's some of the creator three in ones. Here's the Captain America shield. Some of the new Batman sets. There's the buildable Batman, the 4 Plus Batmobile. Right below that, they had the new Batmobile, the Daily Bugle. Here's a little city display with the TTC streetcar. There's the Sanctum. There's the Ninjago City Garden set that just came out. There's some of the Ninjago mechs and dragons. 
And there's the Dreams school bus. Some of the other displays. And here's a bunch of the city sets. And right beside them were the Friends line, which led into some of the brick heads for Disney. So there's Chippendale, Moana, Maleficent, Wally. -E. And they even had the Disney 100 celebration on sale. There's the train. There's the Disney duos, the up house, the villains set. I really like those minifigures. They did a really good job on those. There's the Little Mermaid set. The icon set. Here's the one with all the Disney princesses. I think this one's a really impressive set as well. And then they had a whole bunch of uh, other Disney sets on display. And some of the classic sets as well. And some of the Duplo sets, like this one for Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So I looked around the store and I didn't see anything I really wanted at that moment. So I decided to head to the other Lego store in the Fairview Mall. So I took the GO Train into uh, Union. I used to take the GO Train all the time to uh, school or into Toronto as well. So I eventually got to Union. Toronto's really uh, has been changing constantly, but every year I see something new. So there's the Up Express from my view on the uh, GO Train pulling into its own station. Eventually got off the GO train and then headed to the subway. Saw this old style uh, Coca-Cola truck. And then from the subway, took a bus. So here's the bus station. This was at Shepherd. And then I saw this uh, store, I guess this restaurant, called Monkey King. Yes, it was it indeed called Monkey King. And here's just outside the Fairview Mall. So this is just north of uh, Toronto. And then just inside the mall. I don't think I've uh, really ever been to this mall before. And as we head to the Lego store, you can see it was pretty busy inside. Some of the displays are sort of mimicking the other Lego store. So there's the red Corvette, the Disney Castle, the Pac-Man Arcade, the El Dorado Fortress, and then below that was the Bat Cave. Would have been nice if they displayed other ones, but there's the Treehouse for Dreams, and of course the Nightmare Shark ship on the other side. So they had a, uh, the Tranquil Garden on display, and right beside that they had the Hamiji Castle. And of course they had the Hocus Pocus Cottage on display as well. It really opens up and you can see a lot of the interior. There's the Sonic set with the loop. There's a couple of the Minecraft sets. So there's the Pumpkin Farm. And here's some of the Avatar sets. And the Donkey Kong set. And the Dry Bowser Castle. I really like this one as well. Really nice design. There's the helmets on the top. Some of the battle packs. There's uh, Luke's Land Speeder. Right beside that, they have a couple more Star Wars dioramas, like the Endor Speeder Chase. There's the ATAT all opened up, as you can see inside. It's, this one's a huge build. And they have the Stormtrooper mech suit, and the Man Mandalorian Starfighter. Here's a couple of the Technic cars. Here's the Bat Cycle, of course. Here's the Brachiosaurus set. Here's the Visitor Center. 
with that T-Rex mold. Here's the Creator 3-in-1 for the dogs. There's an overview of everything on the right side. And right at the back wall is the pad wall, of course. Again, this one was well stocked. And there's some of the car doors, some of the transclear parts, some spiders. Here's some of the branch pieces in lavender. There's some of the flower pieces. And over here I saw a big Toronto build on display by the Toro Lug. That's the Toronto Lego user group. They even had some Star Wars minifigures there. There's the underwater submarine. There's the Dream Village. There's the Professor's of Hogwarts brickheads, some of the birthday sets. Over on this side they had spelled out keychains. And of course below that they had the keychains. Here's the Lego store set that you can only pick up in the Lego store. There's the Land Rover Classic Defender and the Vespa. So here's a bunch of the Star Wars sets. Here's a little overview of everything on that side. So I was looking around for something to get and I saw the Halloween cat and mouse set was out. But I was thinking of just getting this online. I did get something from the Lego store. So they had some of these dot sets on sale. So they were normally $24.99. I got them for $19.99 each. And then I got a couple of those Ahsoka Tano brick heads. I really like these dots uh, sets for parts. And I think these Ahsoka brickhead sets are going to do really well as an investment. Especially with the show just coming out. And it's getting uh, pretty good reviews. And I think this brickhead just looks nice overall. Especially with that face printing. I will be building one of these probably sometime soon. But that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this little visit to a couple of Lego stores in the Toronto area. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos from Toronto and Ottawa during my visit. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!